So this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the heat transfer multiplier for heating and for heat dot calculations especially. All right. All right. Let's get into it. So the equation is going to be the following Q. Uh, I'm going to put this in yellow. So this is yellow. So that way. Okay. So Q, which is the heat transfer is going to be equal to as we saw in another video the heat transfer itself is the u value okay u value okay the u value times the area times td all right so this is the heat transfer okay let's put in here heat transfer heat transfer okay and if you remember this is coming for the from the fourier's law Okay, so the Fourier's law for heat transfer is equal to conductivity times uh, we have the area times delta T and that is divided by delta X or the thickness of the wall. All right, we have this in another video and then now we're going to go a little bit farther on this. So we have that this is the U value. Okay, so in this case, we're going to utilize the heat transfer multiplier which is the u value times td this value okay so we go here and then we put that so that's the heat transfer multiplier and there are two for heat load calculation there are always two types of heat loads so the first one is heating and the other one is cooling heating all right heating heat transfer multiplier and cooling heat transfer multiplier all right so let's let, let's continue with this calculation so the way we utilize the heat transfer multiplier is the following and we're going to do an example in this case so let's put in this case uh, this so the heat transfer multiplier okay for heating there we go for heating and then we're going to do this calculation, heat transfer multiplier for heating. It's pretty much the, the same equation, heat transfer multiplier equals to the U value, okay, U value, times TD, okay? All right, let's calculate this heat transfer multiplier. So, for example, <clears throat> the U value depends on the construction. For example, if the U value, the U value equals... To the following mm, let's make an example in here and the u value based on the construction is 0 0.091 and the units are btus divided by okay btus divided by hour square feet and fahrenheit okay so how do you get the u value actually this is data that someone needs to provide and it's based on construction okay construction of the wall construction so in other words if you're calculating a house they already have to give you these values that's total u value and you're going to be able to find it if not then you can always calculate it or estimate it, but it's usually a known value, U value. And the TD is based on the design conditions. So for example, the TD is the temperature difference, and this is based on the location. And say that the temperature uh, difference is gonna be T1 and T2, okay? So the T1 is gonna be equal to 14 degrees, all right? 14 degrees and the T2 is going to be equal to 70 let's say 72 degrees Fahrenheit so what is the 70 uh, 14 degrees Fahrenheit this is the outdoor design temperature outdoor temp design temperature okay and then this is the indoor design temperature indoor temp okay indoor design temperature and this value is actually based on location and when we're when i'm talking about location we're talking about county or uh, state or town there are always tables i have another video in which i showed how to use manual j location based on ASRAE or also energy start so you can check out that video and then, so for example, if my location is in Washington, D.C., you can always go online to the Energy Star webpage 
or manual J or ASRAE data online, look it up in Washington DC, what are the design temperatures? So the indoor temperature is usually for heating is usually 70 degrees, okay? For heating is 70 degrees and for cooling is 75 degrees. That's based on ASRAE 55 thermal comfort standard. But why do I put 72 degrees Fahrenheit? Because some clients or sometimes they want to adjust that based on the uh, on the locations that they want. So that's why I put 72 degrees. So that way I don't make it a standard. But if you don't know the uh, if you don't know if you don't have the temperature, you can always assume 70 for winter and 75 for summer, indoor design temperature. And the outdoor is based on the location, the outdoor, there we go. Outdoor temperature based on the location and indoor temperature based on ASHRAE 55, okay, all right? So based on those values, I'm able to calculate actually the heat transfer multiplier. So the heat transfer multiplier is gonna be equal to the U value and the U value is gonna be 0 0.091. I'm gonna put the units just so we can manipulate the units and we can understand better how the units work okay that times the td temperature difference is going to be equal to 72 degrees minus 14 degrees but sometimes you will tell me but Roberto why is not 14 minus 72 it doesn't matter the only thing that is going to change is the sign okay so 72 minus 14 or 14 minus 72 it's the same only change, changes the sign and then my heat transfer multiplier but it's not alone heat transfer multiplier comes for cooling or heating which are which one are we doing let's put that in pink so it's we're calculating for heating okay so if it's for heating the heat transfer multiplier is going to be equal let's see doing the calculations it's going to be 5.278 278 and what are the units Fahrenheit cancel out and then BTUs divided by our square feet there we go so that's the heat transfer multiplier so now I have the first part of the equation see I did the heat transfer multiplier now I need to know the area so I, I'm gonna put this this is number one step number one step number two is calculating the area so for to calculate the area step number two the area this has to be the net area and I don't want to make this complicated but I'm gonna put a lot of analysis on the net area so let's put this as a so the net area is gonna be the exposed wall let's put in here exposed wall exposed wall that means no windows no windows or doors pure wall or doors so technically for example if I have a layout like this um, let's say that in here I have see I have in here a nice layout right here this is the kitchen kitchen okay and then in here I have um, another one let's put this is the family entry family entry so you 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 get in to here through the garage so this is the garage let's see this is the garage oh, I'm not sure it is not in scale see two car garage for example garage and then uh, you have in here the family room for example let's put this a kind of um, bigger size see family room there you go family room it's the layout of the first floor or the main entrance and as we know let's put this as foyer foyer so where you get in okay so for this case it's important to notice that the orientation so the orientation in here we have north on this side see north orientation okay so let's do this and of course this is gonna have windows okay so let's put some windows in here so we're, we're gonna put a window in here there we go we have windows we have windows right here okay so some windows right there and then other windows right here windows and windows and we have some doors in here all right so let's put the doors with red we have a door right here we have a door 
right there. There we go. Okay, so that's the most basic example. So, so what we're gonna do is calculate the heat load for the family entry. Okay, so let's do this in here. Um, let's put that that in pink. Heating load. Let's put heat load for family entry. Family entry. That's what we're calculating. Okay heat load for family entry so in the family entry we have the first part of the equation because in order to calculate the heat load for the family in entry what we need is only two parts number one we need to calculate the heat transfer multiplier which we have in here see heat transfer multiplier it's done already and we need to calculate the net area which we will in a few more minutes all right, because at the end, what we're going to do also is the following. At the end, see, we're going to do this is moving at the end. So uh, there we go. So at the end, what we're going to have is the Q. Well, uh, well, let's put this with yellow. So Q is going to be equal to heat transfer multiplier times exposed area there you go okay so what's the exposed area the exposed area is going to be to the gross area so area the gross area is going to be the following so let's say that this family entry see that that's the exposed wall it's going to be six feet okay and the height the ceiling height is nine feet see ceiling height okay this is the height h is the height and this is the exposed wall so the gross area is going to be equal to six times nine see six times nine six times nine so that's going to be the gross area which is going to be six times nine six times nine equals to uh 54 54 square feet and this is the gross area gross area okay gross area and then the windows we're making assumptions here okay so the windows are gonna be two by two okay so let's put that uh, another area so area one it's gonna be windows so that's gonna be two times two equals four four square feet so that's gonna be area of windows area of windows and how do you calculate that? That actually goes to the fenestration. Fenestration is that load, okay? So we're calculating the envelope in this case. So now my net area is going to be equal to the gross minus the windows. So that's going to be my gross area is going to be 54 minus the other one is going to be uh, SF for square feet, okay? So totally my net area is going to be equal to 50 square feet exposed wall. All right. So let's let's underline this because those are the most important parts. So see one and two. OK, so now the total heat loss is going to be equal to the following heat transfer multiplier times area and this is equal to 5.278 and put in the units just so we can exercise the units divided by our feet squared times exposed wall because the only exposed wall is going to be this part see that's the exposed wall we don't worry about the interior partitions interior walls it's whatever is exposed to the wall okay okay so now if we do that so what is the total we're gonna have a square feet sorry for the confusion in here a square feet there you go this cancels out with that so the total q is gonna be equal to 264 264 btus per hour that's the total heat load okay we're gonna put this as a heat load that's the heat load 
other programs, other people, they call it like hit, they call it like hitting, only hitting, or hitting load, or other people or programs they call this as hit loss. Okay, however you wanna call it, it's totally the same. Okay, so uh, this is the beginning of a hit load calculation because now. If you want to do it for the whole house, there are programs, I understand that. There are a lot of programs that provide that service. But we're trying to do this one by one. So in the next videos, we're going to be doing different other examples. For example, this would be considered Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. And then at the end, we have to add them all up. So that way we can obtain the total heat gain or heat loss. All right. So one more thing in here is... If we see this into perspective, this would be the wall would be like this. The wall exposed would be like this. And then the green part would be the windows, right? Like this. See? So we only take into account exposed wall. Exposed wall. Okay? So in right soft they this net area is also called NPS. And what does NPS stand for actually stand for? NPS is stands for net area. Okay, net area A slash perimeter perimeter and shaded area. It's a general term shaded area okay so if you ever use right soft to do heat load calculations for residential there is a part when you're gonna see nps so that's pretty much the net area they are taught they're taking into account the gross area which is the total gross area and they're taking and they're removing the windows and everything else so i'm just gonna put this in here just for the sake of this calculation this is nine feet tall and this is six feet, okay? And the windows are this, see? All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and then don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, it helps with the algorithm and comment any questions or any comments that you might have, all right? Thank you so much.